Oh my goodness, intern. All right, this is actually not our ocelot female. This is a little male ocelot who has been donated temporarily to the sanctuary so that hopefully the ocelots will be enticed to breed and have some babies. Oh, look at him. Look at what a handsome creature he is. I wonder where the female is. She might be off hunting. There's lots and lots of Hopi around that she could potentially be hunting. But hopefully she'll show up and they will have a, a good time getting to know each other. They won't fight. That's kind of one of the concerns. Well, a little piggy. Look at him. He's just eating both of the beef shanks. Oh my goodness, but now we know him. His name is Jal, and he has been temporarily donated so that they can try to have some kits. And the agreement is that we could keep one kit, but that we'd have to give uh, any other kits. Like, they get one kit first, and any other kits we can actually keep. But there he is. I wonder, let's poke around the area and see if we can find where the female has gone. Because she is somewhere nearby. He's laying there, just kind of checking out, probably smelling her den, smelling that she's somewhere in the area. And then we'll have to see if we can find her. We'll just have to kind of come back and check on him in a little bit. Oh my goodness, there's just so many things going on. Look at the durian! <gasps> of course, I would be easily distracted because there's some beautiful durians dangling from trees. But today, while we wait for the ocelots to hopefully do their thing, we are going to go and check out... Oh, leeches! Oh. We are going to go and check out the... Oh, yep, the ocelot's been eating. There's some missing chicks from the Hopis. Hmm. Oh, and there's the red brockets. Aren't they just the most precious things? Oh, we'll have to we'll have to see if we can take some of the red brockets with us, because I think that they are the most adorable itty-bitty little deer. I mean, look at them. They're so tiny. And, oh, look, look, look. They've hidden a fawn. They've hidden a fawn in these tall grasses. Look at how itty bitty it is. Oh, and look at it eat its little leaf. Oh, that's precious. So precious. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can take some of the fawns as well. And what about you? Red Rocket number three. We'll have to see how many there are. And Capybara number 10 is giving birth. And we are slowly meandering our way over mm, to where we have a hoppy minefield. My gosh, look at this. Oh my goodness. We need to do some mega help. I think we need to get in here. Oh my gosh, look at the mess, the chaos. Oh my gosh, there's carcasses everywhere. The hoppy just keep having so many babies. Oh my goodness, a capybara got killed. Oh my gosh, I wonder if that's from the caiman. All right, well, let's just clear some of these carcasses away and then let's check on how the hoppy are doing. I think that we actually need to help the zoo, or excuse me, the sanctuary, uh, rehome most of these birds. Cause look at this. Oh my gosh, look at the caiman. He's just sitting there and he's miserable because there's so much poop from the birds everywhere. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's just roaming straight into the center of the nest and there's so many hoppy. I guess he can just dive right in like nothing's ever happened. All right, let's clean all this up. My gosh, bird poop for days, oh my gosh. And there's just like carcasses everywhere. He's not even bothering to eat the old food when he can just come over here and like end up with tons of, of fresh hoppy in his mouth. Oh my goodness. All right, let's clear that. Watch out little Tapir. You're not so little actually, you're huge. All right, and then we're gonna clear out these carcasses. There we go. And there's the ocelot! Oh my gosh, she's just dived straight into the deep end. Just, like, look at her! She's like, why do I want to go back to my place when there's bazillions of ocelots over here that I could eat? Oh my goodness! My gosh! And she's just gonna go drink some water. Let's actually, we're gonna gently move her, because she's full, probably of birds, over here, where hopefully she can meet one of the male, like meet the male. <gasps> Performing mating call. Oh my gosh, she's already, she is totally receptive to this. Okay, we'll have to hide behind this tree. But now she's waiting to mate with Jal. Once she picked up his scent, that was all it took. <gasps> We're gonna have ocelot babies. I hope more than one because the guarantee is that we have to give one baby immediately back to the people who Jal is from, but we could keep any others. 
Come on, Jahal. Where are you? Where is he? Whoop, whoop, whoop. There he is. Okay. Oh my goodness. They're meeting. Long distance. <laughs> purr, 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 purr. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Well, Hoppy's pregnant. I don't know about her. A Sphinx Macaw is pregnant. Ah, she's not pregnant yet. Okay. It should be alright. Jal, where are you going? Drink water from the food dish. They probably need water. We'll, we'll put a little bit of water a little bit closer to them. And hopefully they'll stay in this area. So we'll have to see if we're lucky enough with those ocelots breeding together to get some babies. But over here, we need to clear out all of these carcasses. Oh my goodness. And I think we need to, at least half the population of Hopi that are over here, because this is just ridiculous. Let's get down and find one of the uh, strongest concentrations of Hopi. Oh, they sound beautiful though. Like over here. Okay. Let's just start gathering them up. It's gonna be armfuls of birds. All right, gonna go eat, eat from the hollow log. You guys are hungry, because there's just, I think there wouldn't be enough food. People are going to start, people are, or birds are going to start keeling over dead. So let's adopt you out. You look pretty cool. I like this one. Playing chase with 28. Do you have a mate? Has a sibling. Has a mate. Number 41 is its mate. So let's grab 41. Number 41, I'm going to get you and your mate. And let's see, now that's grandmother. I need... Poppy 50. 50, 50, 50. No! I went the wrong way. Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh, I might not even be able to grab like mated pairs at this rate because there's just so many of them. It's just whatever I can snag in terms of the hoppies now. Alright, well guess what? You're a lucky bird. Ah, there's Hoppy 50 again. Yay! Where's, where did I put 41? Alright, you come over here. Where the heck am I? This is harder than it looks, in turn. Harder than it looks. Alright, so, and then your mate is right here. Come on, I'm really trying to keep this mated pair together. Okay, quick, 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 quick. I've got him. I've got him, pretty sure. There's 50. So we've got 50 crated, and I want... Is this it? 41? Yes! Okay, so we've got 50 and 41. We're gonna crate both of them. I mean, we could probably end up with, like, bazunkas of these Hopi, and it wouldn't be Hopi even, and it wouldn't affect their population whatsoever. So, let's see. I think we'll take five for now? Five seems like a good number. We'll take three females and two males, because they breed so quickly, and oh my gosh, so much poop. So much poop. Overflowing compost bin! Let's come down. Oh, it just got cleared out. Good. Just got sold. All right, and then let's dive back in. Look at that caiman. He's like, fine, I'll go back to my little my little roost. <gasps> Holy moly. Okay, yeah, there's babies everywhere. <laughs> I think that these birds have become, like, one of the main prey species for the predators in the area. All right, Hopi 34 is staying close to its mate, Hopi 40. So we'll gather 34. You come here. I'm just going to start putting them, like, down in this far corner for a second. 40, you come here. Since you're a loyal mated pair, I will take both of you. Alright, got you. And... Got you. Phew! See, it's a little bit interesting bird wrestling in turn, but at least we're managing. Alright, so we've got two more pairs. Or one more pair for two pairs total. And we're gonna pick uh, a female now. So let's go ahead and get one stray female. It's just going to be whoever we grab first at this rate. Uh, are you a female? This is a female, so we're just going to go ahead and grab Hoppy38. And put her right over here. And she did have a mate, though. So, ah. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I just, I feel too guilty if they have a, a mate and they're bonded. And then I just, ooh, hiccups. And then I just take them from them. So there is 17. All right, that's enough, Hoppy. Because if they breed in our zoo, anything like they breed here, then we're going to have our hands totally full. All right, there we go. And going to put you in a little crate. And you in a little crate. Yay! I mean, now we've got the birds. Good, 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 good. Phew! 
There we go. There's not too many more, I think, that we want to take to the zoo just yet, because this is going to be a lot of animals to take in at once. But let me just tuck you right there. Okay, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get down and we're going to see if we can contact any other zoos and adopt out as many Hopi as possible. Like Hopi 18, or actually, yeah, if they're healthy enough to release to the wild, we're just snagging them, grabbing them, and tossing them because there's so many. There's so, so many. 23. Oh, I hate how noisy the helicopters are. But it is a very effective way to move things. Oh, look at that gentleman. He's eating at the little table. And isn't this just the most beautiful place to settle down for a meal? Look at him. He's just like, I'm just eating my fruit. I love how we gave him fruit cups. So then if anyone is going to throw stuff in, because even though we put up the signs, you know people are going to throw food for the animals, then at least it's fruit so that the animals will stay nice and healthy. All right. So let's see. Let's come back over here. If I can catch a hoppy and it's healthy and happy, it's going out of here. All right, let's see. There's a whole bunch of babies walking around. Oh, there's one. Another release to the wild. Just like being in such a smelly exhibit, huh? Then maybe there shouldn't be so many of you. Oh my gosh, I think some eggs just hatched. There's so many. So many. We're drowning in birds. Yeah, I'm 99% I'm sure eggs just hatched because all of a sudden it, the ground is covered in tiny baby hoppies. So I think that that helped out a bit. Oh, here comes the caiman. This is the cycle of life in turn. At least I think it is. Where's he going? All right, let's just watch him for a minute. Is it the cycle of life? Is that what's happening here? It almost looks like they're trying to chase him off the way they're sort of pecking at him. Trying to scare off the caiman. Where are you going, sir? What are you up to? Oh. He's changed course. It looks like the birds are sort of pecking at him, like, get out of here, get out of here. Cayman, we don't want you eating our eggs and our birds. So what are you doing, buddy? Are you going to sit there and pretend to be a log until you can get a bird to eat? Is that what you're doing? Oh, now he's going into stealth mode. Now he's just going to be... Your, your average Joe log laying on the ground. Oh no, he was just leaving a giant poop. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's what I wanted exactly. How did you know? <sighs> All right. Oh, I see an adult snag you off to the wilderness where maybe you'll have a better chance of not getting caught by came in. All right, at least there's a couple more out. Oh, it's so noisy. Up, 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 up. What do we have here? We appear to be helping with the, the population issues a little bit. But they're still laying so many eggs. And not everybody... Well, I, you can probably be adopted out to another zoo. Up oh, 43 is good. There. So that should hopefully help. Now, whew, now that we've tackled that problem, we'll have to see if we did enough of removing the hoppy. Hoppy? Hoppy? Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Uh, to hopefully help the zoo or the sanctuary out. And now we're going to wiggle this way and we're going to see how our ocelots are doing. We'll have to check and see if she's pregnant. <gasps> look at the ocelot carry the little bone. Oh my goodness, look at that. Walking by with that little bone in its mouth. Oh no, I'm out of film. Why does this always happen at the most inopportune times? I want more pictures of how cute they are! Why? Okay, quick! Quick! Oh, I forgot about that Sphinx Macaw sitting on that egg. That was awesome. Alright, put you over here. Oh, I want to check on Marzipan's kits! I'm getting really... I'm getting nostalgic for our normal zoo intern! Okay, so here's the female. Are you pregnant, little one? Pregnant? Ah, oh, not pregnant. She has mated with Jal. Jal, stay by her. Stay over here. Entice her. Don't play with the ball with the rattle. Oops, I totally put him in the wrong spot. No wonder. <laughs> Sorry, Jal. All right, go, go investigate. Go investigate how your female is doing. All right, we're not having very good luck with the uh, mating of the ocelots just yet. 
They made it, they're mates. They like each other, but they haven't had any babies just yet, so hmm. All right, and the Hoppy are doing well. We collected a whole bunch of them. Let me think, and I think what we'll do now, we already got the Capybara. I think what we'll do now in turn is we'll take what we have and we will work with them over at our zoo and we'll give the capybara a little or the capybara we'll give the ocelots a little bit of time and then we can come back and collect more birds and more ocelots hopefully uh if everything has gone well in a little bit because we've got plenty to keep us busy for a few months now back at our place so we can always return here, see how everybody's doing, see if there's any new animals that have come into the sanctuary, or if there's any new babies we can take. And we'll keep ourselves busy with what we've got so far. But I, I will peck around. Before we leave, let's see how the zoo is doing, or the park is doing, excuse me. And so warden challenges, educational habitats, entertaining animals, guest happiness, number of species. Um, Let's see. Yeah, released to the wild. They're they're very famous. Great conservation park here. And then quick stats. Let's see if we can improve the happiness of the animals or the guests before we leave. So, who is an unhappy? Well, let's just check on the guest real quick. Unhappy guest. Timothy Tim Faber. Why are you so unhappy, sir? He's seeing animals and he's educated. And he's starving to death and going to pee himself. <laughs> Young sir, you sound like you need a parent to guide you more than anything. Come on, come on, you, you need to eat or something. You don't need to look at more animals for just a minute, buddy. No, no, he's just, he's headed out. It's like the guppies have trapped some people into just staring at them forever. And they never get loose. Poor people. Alright, time to go home. Can't wait to see more animals. It is like the guppies. Oh no! I see what's happened. <gasps> We've kidnapped the children. They're trapped like behind behind these binoculars, I think. There we go. Look, they can move around again. I'm so sorry, little kids. Oh my gosh, and there's like way too many hoppy now. Oh, or not hoppy. I'm, I've got hoppies on the brain. Hoppy scramble. There's way too many guppies. But all right, and let's check one more time. Oh, and the red birds of paradise. Okay, we'll check out the red birds of paradise in a little bit too. But let's check one more time on our ocelot couple. Oh, where have they gone? All right, oh, 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 there they are. What are they up to? You guys roaming around somewhere together? This is hopeful. Oh, they're gonna go eat some chicks. <laughs> All right, and we'll check in on our ocelots in a little bit, and hopefully they will also have some babies later. So that'll be very, very interesting. And for now, let's check out uh, all of the animals that we have gathered up. So many birds, so many adorable little amphibians, two little, two little red-eyed tree frogs, as well as several capybara. So we're going to take them all back to our quest zoo, and we will return here another day to gather up, gather up more animals and to see if there's any new birds or other critters that have come into the park. Whew. All right, intern, you ready? You got your luggage packed? I'll meet you at the airport, and then I will meet you tomorrow bright and early to get back to work at Quest Zoo. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.